So, Roxy, you know, the last time we read, the mother wolf hadn't come home for a long time. Remember that? And so Swift, for the first time, went past the Do Not Cross and went outside and he saw the moon. Are you listening? Yeah. He saw the moon and the stars and he smelled all those smells. So we'll see what happens next. Here we go. So here we are. I inch forward against Warm's nudge of warning. Do not pass. Crouch. Freeze. It's a new wolf. Sniff. Freeze. It's a not mother smell. Sniff. Wag. Freeze. I smelled him on mother's fur. He is kin. I creep forward. Do not pass. Warm is long gone to the back of the den. <laughs> but I can't help, I can't keep the wag of my tail. It thwops on the roof den and rains down dirt. Hush! Nose to ground. I do not mean to bow down. His voice pulls me down. Wow. Listen, he says. Not so harsh this time. My ears turn. The wind brings sound along with smell. Whoosh, creak, pop from the wind in the trees nearby. Hoot and scurry from And then, howl, howl. My fur goes up all over, Owned from my dreams. I feel an answering howl deep inside, but not so deep that the pup watcher can't see it about to come out. Hush, he says, hush. If I swallow my howl, my howl and sit on my wig, which must mean his, yeah, his tail. I wait, hunger forgotten, in the wash of new sounds. The pup watcher waits too. He paces slowly a gray shape in a circle of trees. I hear water running far away, buzz and chirp, chirp from nearby. The heartbeat sound of running feet from medium far and then nearer and nearer still and now I can smell them mother and our kin sharp wagon pounce are all at my heels now they crowd they crowd in beside me stepping over warm and making hungry whimpers and then mother comes over the ridge running with all the pack around her mother she is silver gray and tall with black ears and black tipped tail. Her kin rub shoulders with her. They bow their heads and sing her name. I can smell her sweet, wild, milk wind smell. Come, she says. I am all wag, <clears throat> which means what? Yeah, he's wagging his tail, how funny. Outside? I want to be sure. Come, she says, come out. I spring up, but shoulders, but sharp shoulders pass me and pounce steps on my hind end. I roll her off and we burst out of the den together, raining dirt on wig and warm behind us. I am out, out, the bigness of it. This new den with the black roof, no jump can reach. Did you hear that with the black roof that no jump can reach? Meaning the sky. Wow. I jump away just to try. I jump anyway just to try. The wind runs through my fur. My kin knows me from head to tail. I breathe in each one of them. Golden furred song. The hunter and the pup watcher growl, who walks slowly with a limp. I cannot stop the wag. I lick the ground of our gathering place, salt, iron, ash, home. Father stands above the rest, gray face, black ears, and tall, tall, tall. His scent mark is on the doorway of our den, and his, his is the howl the pack follows. I know I should go to him and share smells, but he is silent and tall. 
Sharp beats me to it. He brushes past. He is a head taller than me, and he looks down on me just to show that he can. His tail is up as always, but he goes down when he gets close to father. He ducks his head and slows to a creep. <clears throat> father gives him two sniffs and a growl and nudges him away. Sharp turns to the rest of us. Teeth snapping, a growl in his throat, warning us that he is the one to share smell with father, not us. Worm cries a little, Wake says nothing, but the hopeful lift of her tail droops. Pounce takes the bait and wrestles sharp to the ground, losing twice before she pins him. I slip by the mall and go to meet my father, tall tailed and nose up. But as I get close, my tail drops like a stone. I almost turn to bring Worm along for courage. But some things a pup has to do on his own. Up close, father is not just gray and black, but golden on the chest and silvered over the shoulders. Dark runs around his mouth. Son, he growls to me, mine. I sit on my wag, but it will not hold still. I breathe in the smell of him deeper and longer until his scent holds a spot in my memory next to my mother. I will do anything for him. I jump, spin, hoping he will like it. I yip, wag. Father, mine. I cannot stop smelling the red on him. Makes me hungry like the smell of mother's milk. But this is a new smell. Any thoughts on that? The red on him. Hmm, what do you think? richer smell. I can't resist it. I nose his chin. I lick his face. He leans toward me and opens his mouth. Wow, listen to this. A great red and runny lump comes out of his mouth. It seems. Nothing I've ever smelled before, but father gave it to me. Sniff, sniff. The more I smell it, the more I like it. I push my nose into the pile and rub it on my fur, and mother calls the other pups and lowers her mouth to their licking. She pushes another red lump of something out. Any thoughts what that is? So a lot of animals feed their young by throwing up what they just ate. So that's my guess. <clears throat> she nudges Wag and pounces to try it. Aunt Song does the same for sharp and warm. I turn back to father's gift. Lick, lick, lick. It tastes smooth and rich. Not so sweet as milk, but tail wagging good all the same. Nibble, nibble. The lumps are thick and chewy. Bite, bite. Gobble, 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 gobble. Ah. The rest of the pumps join in. The rest of the pups join in. Hind ends all awake. I eat un until I am dizzy, full, and curl up in father's shadow. A sleep stalks me. Father noses me into place at his feet. Elk, he says. Life of the pack. Wow, it's cool. So that is the end of this chapter and this reading number two. So go to your Google Doc and write your amazing good summary and, and fill in all of your good questions, predictions, feelings, and thoughts, because that's just what good readers do. Awesome. We'll see you later. <laughs>